Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to Azure CLI and I'm going to use Ubuntu machine where I already have my uh, AZ uh, installed. So if you want to know how to install the AZ, Azure CLI, uh, please uh, search for the video. Uh, my intent is to show you how to uh, connect to your Azure account. So there are two ways and I, I should give some credit to this guy uh, he has a nice uh, uh, repo on the github I did some minor edits where I found some of the problems with the command but most of them are really nice and I'm gonna only cover the first few and then uh, we'll do some more videos to cover some others so here first thing where people struggle when they're uh, getting started with Azure CLI so once you install how do you log into your portal so that's very easy easy login if you hit enter it should open up a browser if you logged in and it says this account is already logged in I can click on that one and you are logged in now you can close this window and it should give you uh, the list of accounts that uh, you have right now available so it looks like I have three different subscriptions okay and uh, it says uh, uh, there should be one subscription that's default so it like looks like uh, this subscriptions is is default true and the rest of them are not so i have one subscription which is it dev that is default now i can also run easy account list uh or, okay before i do that so if you don't want to open up the browser there is another way you can log in so let's just close a couple of windows here open a new one and uh, just to come back to some place okay over here so okay so i'm just gonna do uh, this and here you can also pass your, your user id then uh, okay and here it's just asking your password so just type your password and you should be able to log in and you should be able to get the same output okay so i have shown you now two different ways to log in now the other thing that I, that I showed you that I have three different accounts, three different subscriptions and only one of them you can make it the default one. Right now the IT Dave subscription is the default subscription. So if I want to make the IT prod as the default, so I have to run this command, AZ account set subscription and then provide a subscription ID. So what I'll do, I'll come back over here and get the subscription ID. So that's my subscription ID. Let's just get that one and I'll come back over here uh, paste that ID and uh, hit enter and you see it didn't cause any error so now if I run the last command again uh, where I am going to see is the account list and I want to see what happens so this time over here if you see is default now it has changed to false and I bet IT prod is default is now saying true. So that's how you change and set the uh, default account for your subscription for, for your account uh, if you have multiple subscriptions. Now a uh, quick couple more things we're going to look at uh, is if you want to know how many different locations are supported today. Uh, you can just run this command az account list location so that will tell you and give you all the locations like Sweden you just have to go through it Sweden Central West US 3 uh, Brazil Norway and list is pretty long so I'm not gonna go over all of it to check the az version the CLI that you have you just simply need needs to run the az version and it should give you the current CLI uh, it's gonna tell you where is your Python is located and uh, some other things and lastly uh, if you need help okay so this is how you gotta get uh, help if you just hit hit help it's gonna give you you know a list of things that uh, additional commands that you need to know and for all the additional commands say if you wanna get more help for say storage so I'll do easy storage and in now this time I have to do a dash dash and then help to get uh, get even further into uh, that particular particular resource and uh, that's I think about it 
Well, let's go a little bit more further uh, to make this a little bit more useful for you. So we have gone to this for like easy storage help. So we got this. So say I don't know anything about storage that I want to just play with. So what I can do, I see there are a whole bunch of follow-up commands, uh, parameters that I can pass to my original AC storage. So let's just start with account, okay? And I'm just trying to uh, auto-complete using my tab key. So now I got AC storage account. If I keep on pressing the tab, now it's giving me, okay, with the command, with the account, these are the commands that are available. And if you look at it, again, you have the help available to you, show. If you have any storage account, it's gonna, it is gonna show up. Create delete, that's interesting. So let's see if I can do a create, okay? So that's create. So now create, what parameters do you think create might need? So if I hit create, it's giving me something. It's saying storage account create error, the following arguments are required. So now you know that you're gonna provide a resource group name and uh, the name of the storage account. So you can either provide G and N or write down the whole big resource group name. So let's try this out. So let's just say G test group and dash in my store 77889900011. So that storage account name has to be unique. So let's try this one out and see what happens. So uh, could not be found. So resource group could not be found. So this is another cool thing. So now you know that you gotta have the resource group available to you. So let's, you can do it two different ways. You can create the resource group from here with az commands. Okay, if you wanna do that, so az resource, let's see if there's anything available. Okay, so if we resource, I can do a create. So let's uh, create and then provide a in most likely and then test group. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. It's saying that AC resource create error the following arguments are required properties. So what properties that we need? Uh, we need to provide where uh, to deploy most likely. So let's fix that one. Actually, for the resource group, actually you use AZ uh, group create and not the resource. Resource will be for the specific resource. So group create. So there are two parameters that are required. Uh, one is location. So let's just do east uh, US and then uh, test group. Okay, that, that should that should work, I would think. So now that's successful. So now I'm gonna go back to our storage account command. So here uh, we created the test group resource group. So now this resource group should be available to me. And now if I hit enter, let's see this time if this is successful or not. And now it's running. And while it's running, I can also go to the portal real quick and see what is going on within the portal. So let's just come back over here and let's uh, look for resource group, see what I have. Uh, test group, look at that. So the test group has been created and right now I don't have any resource within the test group. And, and notice the test group is created inside the IT prod because I made this one as the default subscription. So from the from the command line when I'm working on, any command that I'm passing is just gonna uh, create resources within that particular subscription. So now it looks like my storage group, storage uh, account is now available to me. So let's just come back over here and uh, if you rephrase, there we go. So my store 77889900022 is now available to you. Now uh, play with these commands, uh, we will go over more commands. So in this video I really wanted to give you a few ones, a uh, few basic ones just to get started and just to explore on your own and experience the joy of uh, figuring out stuff uh, and just deploy things within the CLI and just be uh, and like feel like a most powerful person in the world. Uh, anyway, if you like the video, please give me a, a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this and happy learning as you are. Thank you.